Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. As you guys can tell, I'm in front of my bookshelf and today's going to be my January book recap. I'm really, really excited about this video. This is only my second book related video ever, I'm pretty sure. My first one was every single book I read in 2020. I'll have that like up here or something, maybe if editing the Aubrey remembers, like 60 books last year, so there it is. But I have always been a avid reader and especially in the romance genre type five everything. I have lots of books but I've read, read so many more but I thought it would be exciting to kind of track at the end of each month every book that I read. I do have a Goodreads account if you guys want to check it out. It'll be down below. I write reviews and rate it and all that stuff. Um, I'll be loosely talking about every single one of these books but yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to try to remember. I don't have my phone in front of me. It's like across the room charging right now because I'm actually about to move. Like my room is destroyed right now. It's like literally 8.30 in the morning. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to try to do this all from memory. So if you want to check me or uh, fact check me, just go to my Goodreads account. But before we even get started, I want to say the number of books I read in January. Um, but before that, my goal for uh, my goal for 2021 is 60 books. I read 60 books last year, so I thought that was a good place to stand. If I read more or less, it's okay. I feel like if I keep at this rate, I'll definitely read more than 60. But anyways, my grand total for January was 12 books. A lot more than I expected. I was hoping to do like one book a week and then throw in some extra here and there. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, I guess we will go ahead and get started. First book I have is Today Will Be Different by Maria Simple. Um, she's a national bestseller of Where'd You Go, Ber Bernad? Bernad? I don't know. I've seen this book around. I think I'm going to read it just to read it. I actually found this at the local Dollar General and I was like, actually, that kind of looks good. So I, did deci I decided to try it out. I either rated it a 2 or 3, honestly cannot remember, but it was just like eh to me, like it's not a book that I would normally read. It was, I feel like this is a comedy novel I would say. Um, I read it in one day so it was a super easy read, so if you're looking for something simple and from a national bestseller, you have where, or you have Today Will Be Different, um, yeah, just eh book for me. The next book I read is actually so, so good. It is Dune by Frank Herbert. I feel like this is such a popular book, especially with a new movie coming out. But I saw this at my boyfriend London's house and I was like, actually, I've been wanting to read that. I read this book in five days, I think. It's a pretty thick book. But um, yeah, this was like my first sci-fi novel in a while, if not ever. And I just, I love this story so much. There, I believe there's eight novels, six from Frank Herbert and then two from his son. And so I'm going to probably listen to the rest of them just because you have to, I have to read at least a second one to hear about him and his relationship. But yeah, if you guys are looking for a popular sci-fi novel, definitely recommend this. I rated this five out of five, I believe. It was so good. I don't even have any more words. This book right here is what like, got me into my like let's read but anyways yeah book i finished is actually a devotional i started this in october it's the embraced uh, hunter devotions to know god is holding you close by lisa turkhurst um yeah like i said i started this in october i finished it january 5th i believe i rated it five out of five just because it was my first ever devotion and there were, i had nothing against it it was really good there's like like i said in the title there's a hundred so it lasts to you a pretty good amount of time um, but for my first devotion I thought it was really good and I would recommend if you guys are looking to like jump into the word so I'm so excited about this I made it a goal for myself to read the entire Twilight series um, well the books I have while I was back home and I did that I'm so excited so of course first off we have Twilight um, the the novel itself it's so good um i wanted to reread the entire series because i bought midnight sun and i had it i've had it for months and i wanted to read all of these first so that's what i did so um yeah i it's so bad but like i rated all of these five out of five just because they're so good i love it um i am i'm a twihard that's all i have to say but yeah i have twilight um 
Then I actually, I decided to read Midnight Sun after this book. It was kind of like repetitive and, you know, but still five out of five. I want Stephanie Meyer so bad to write all of the books from Edward's perspective. I, I know she said she wasn't, but I feel, I, I think she's going to. Because like she's missing out on money if she doesn't. That's all I have to say. So I read these two eclipse and then breaking dawn these books are great i read two of them in one day and then three of them i think within two days or so but yeah so good rated five out of five and then this is actually something i'm currently reading but i wanted to mention it because i started it after the twilight series it's called the women in white um so this isn't this doesn't count towards my 12 but um yeah it's a classic mystery novel i think I just wanted to kind of mention these in the order, but just know this is what I'm currently reading. Well, my last four books that I have read in uh, January is a series. I thought I wanted to like read The Women in White. I didn't want to read another series, but I decided to pick up The Red Queen. I read all of these books so good. Two of them I read in one day and then the other two I read within two days. Oh my gosh, guys, this series, if you guys are looking for like a romance, betrayal, dystopian, fantasy novel, read this. I don't even know how to explain it. It's so good. If you guys have read this, tell me whose team you're on. I don't know why I'm on team Maven. Like, I like both or both guys, but like, I don't know. I just like Maven. He kind of reminds me of Loki or something, but um, yeah, definitely would recommend these. These all were rated four stars. It's by Victoria Aveyard. And I rated them four stars just because, like, I don't think they were, like, the best series in the entire world because there was, like, some things that I was, like, annoyed about or stuff like that. But I thought it was so good nevertheless, um, or nonetheless. So, yeah, really excited about this. Last book. This doesn't count towards my 12 either, but um, it is the, it's, like, 4.5 in her uh, series. I don't have the like fifth book which has two novellas in it so I won't be getting that but anyways this is like a collection of stories um, kind of diving in more and like I said I'm currently reading it. I feel like I'm probably going to finish it before January. If not you guys will probably see this again in my February reads but yeah I just I literally love this series so much. It is insane. I would definitely 100% recommend it. That is basically the entire like what I read in January I guess like I said these are like my two current reads that I might finish just before January ends and this will definitely be in February because this is a thick book yeah I'm so excited I will be doing a video like this hopefully every month at the very end so I'm pretty sure this will be up on February 1st. I am so excited. Sorry I missed uploading last week. I didn't have anything to post and I didn't want to like force content. So that's why I missed last week. I'm going to start packing up my car. So peace and love. Bye guys. Hey, feeling good.